Hi guys, this is part two of the TBR to be read shelf of my witchy books. I left off with a book by Sky Alexander, which was her spell book. This is her Modern Witchcraft Grimoire. This book I purchased not because I don't have a book of shadows, but because I want to see more things that I could add into my book of shadows to make it, you know, a little more unique and different. I love to see other practitioners of the craft, their ideas, their input, and things that they would include into their own grimoire. Now, this is not her grimoire. We have lots of grimoires that belong to particular authors. I actually did recently purchase one that I will show either in this video or in another if I get long-winded. This book, I absolutely adore it. One thing I do like about her series that um, I don't have any other, but I really do like the fact that they're hardback. And I like the way they look. I mean, they really do look good, and they look good on your shelf. <laughs> but this is not her specific grimoire. I do have another grimoire that I will show. But... This book gives you ideas of what to include in yours. And I always think that is helpful for anyone. You might think there's no way I would include that in my grimoire. And then you may think, that's fantastic. Why didn't I think of that? So here is the beginning of the contents. You can pause here and read the contents if you like. And then here is page two of the contents. She has spells and correspondences, ingredients, symbols and spell work, dream magic. And it all begins with recording your magical journey, which we are all told to always begin with recording your magical journey. That is what a book of shadows is for. In my personal opinion which is my opinion and I am entitled to that as you are to yours always disclaimer um, recording your magical journey to some may not seem important I wish that when my mentor sent me my first book of shadows that I would have put more of my heart into that book I have since removed the pages, and it wasn't a book that was bound where you could unbind and remove pages. Um, I really don't know where she got it. It was suede leather on the outside with oak leaves, which I found absolutely beautiful. I do love oak trees and um, oak. Uh, we had a big oak tree in my front yard growing up. I'm very fond of oak trees. My mother and father have matching caskets made from oak with the oak leaves and the scene from in a wooded type area which is where we lived growing up absolutely beautiful um yes this is his wedding ring and it is beautiful you wouldn't think as shiny as it is that it is over 55 years old but it is now then so I wish I would have put more of my heart and soul into my very first book of shadows to me looking back that makes me think a couple of things maybe I wasn't ready for this magical journey maybe I wasn't ready to start the book but I did write in it I read some of my few first spells and I thought, what in the world was I thinking? But that's how you grow. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have since removed those pages from the book. I have bound them with ribbon and kept them for later reference. But they are not in that book. And my best friend has sent me a new one. To create beautiful things in I am going to start as soon as possible but 
Right now, I am more inclined to read and work on spell crafting and on my new path. So, it starts with chapters like Why Create a Grimoire, At the Beginning, Begin with a Blessing, Preparing to Use Your Grimoire, and then we have Charts, Writing in Your Grimoire, The C and Alphabet, I hope I said that properly, Using Your Grimoire, Has Days of the Week, this Days of the Week kind of reminds me of Ellen Dugan's book, I think it's the Book of Witchery, where she goes through every day of the week with correspondences. If you do not have that book, I highly recommend it. Um, a Kitchen Witch, A Kitchen Witchery Spell, uh, Special Occasional Spells, Visual Spells, there's a little bit of everything in here. I saw eclipses. That eclipse, there we go. The ancients regarded eclipses with awe and even fear. Oh. If I would have known that was in there, I would have read this a little bit. I would have made a little video, but that would have been on my other channel, and y'all wouldn't have seen it. This is a very good book. I think it will be a very good book. <clears throat> have I read the entire book? No. Like I said in a previous video, I was on a mission to find things to do to occupy my time as my husband was having to commute to work. <clears throat> he basically lived where I live now for a week and was only home on the weekends so for about four and a half to five months of the time that we lived in our last apartment in Texas I lived basically alone and that was also the time in which I lost and was grieving 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 for my father now then on to the next I'm telling you grief has stages, but I think one of them is shopping. Here's another book that I bought. This is the Modern Witchcraft Book of Tarot. Now, I do have several tarot books, and that is because I love tarot. Tarot, oracles, Lenormand, I love them all. I do. I love them. My very first deck was a Rider Waite Smith deck that was gifted to me by my mentor. She also sent me a book that, well, I'll show that in another video. And it has definitely seen its bit of wear and tear. But this book is your complete guide to understanding the tarot. Now then, I have found that if you enjoy an author's writing style, you will get more out of what they have to say about certain subjects. That's just a given. That's just if you read, it's just, all, you know, that's just the way it is. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to... Look at the table of contents. Now, this book has a big table of contents. So, if you want to see, I will step back. You can pause and maybe make it bigger. Because it goes over everything. The suits, the numbers, the numerology. And then, of course, it starts with recording your magical journey. Journaling. How to use this book. Journaling is a big part of the craft. Now I know certain people that turn their nose up and have actually, I have actually been made fun of for journaling. That's fine. Um, if it helped them sleep at night to, you know, laugh at the fact that I liked to actually journal things that I did, that's fine. Journaling for me is a record to look back upon. Good, bad, ugly, otherwise. Also, you can use your journal for shadow work. Say there are things, and this is a totally different subject, but say there are things in your past that you want to, to be rid of and you know that you have recorded them. You can actually use those pages if you are willing to pull the pages from the journal or if you can remove them without destroying your journal and you can actually get a fulfillment from setting those pages on fire in a safe place in a fire safe dish watch them burn and release that into the universe and know that those bad times that were recorded right there are no longer part of your life just a suggestion but this is getting to know the tarot and it goes through everything I mean, it really goes through everything. Here's numerology. There are charts. And it tells you about different decks. The page of pen. Here's the pinnacles. The cups. My card is the 
<clears throat> my birth card is the death card. My other birth card is the emperor card. My card of the year this year is the lovers and associated with my astrological sign, my card is temperance. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. What I like to see is what everyone's different opinions of the cards, what they got out of the cards, and how they feel about the cards, and how they use them in their readings. Reading the cards. It is just chock full of really good information and spreads. There are 12 spreads. If anyone wants to see an up close of these spreads, let me know. I will gladly take a screenshot that you, you can put on your phone or your laptop, computer, tablet, and enlarge and see everything that is included with the spread. I like that horoscope wheel. It's a 12 card. Yeah, I like that a lot. Oh, the spiral spread. Isn't that gorgeous? Using tarot cards and magic work. A lot of people, I have an everyday tarot magic book in which you use tarot cards for spells. So, this is definitely another one on my to-be-read list. The next book is a book on Bridget. When I first started in my craft, the first goddess that I actually thought was my matron goddess was Bridget. I felt a deep connection with Bridget and with the Celtic pantheon itself. I still am connected very deeply to the Celtic pantheon. I have recently discovered that I knew all along, but I didn't know for sure. I had heard rumors. I, Since the passing of my parents, my mother a number of years back, and my father this year, I have talked to members of my mother's side of the family, and I have found out that I am actually, I have a lot of Cherokee blood. Now, my father's dominant genes, his dominant, dominant Scottish-Irish genes, did take over my skin tone as I am extremely pale, but... I have the cheekbones, and I do have a lot of Native American blood in me, which I thought was wonderful, and I found out that it's Cherokee, and that was nice to know as well. My great-grandmother was, on my mother's side, was a 100% full-blood Cherokee Indian, so yes, that's nice to know. What does that have to do with Bridget? I was f scrolling through Facebook. And, you know, when you first start, you think you know everything, and you think you can pick out your goddess and all of these, you know, types of things, and you can't. <laughs> you really can't. So, I just, you know, started picking out various goddesses. They never worked. Always came back to Bridget. The first Sabbath that I did partake in was in bulk, and then I knew that Bridget was important to me. And then life happened and everything was put on the back burner raising my daughter um taking care of my family um my husband worked all the time and then later when my daughter was grown i went back to work for a while with my husband and then the transfers and the moving and everything got pushed to the back burner then my father's illness not to mention the things in the middle everything just went put to the back burner and finally, one day, I was just scrolling through Facebook, and I noticed a friend that I trust her opinion of books immensely had this on her feed that she had just purchased. Loving Bridget that, like I do, and knowing that it was time to change my path and listen, listen, instead of saying, this is what I'm going to do. I bought the book. Have I read it yet? Absolutely not. And of course, I need to. Being on a new path is exciting and fun, but you have to do your homework because it is new. I think incorporating Bridget in my practice will help me to become a better person. 
and I will be back with a third video of the books that are on my To Be Read shelf. And I will speak with you guys again soon. If you like these videos, let me know and I will continue to make more because I have many books. See you soon.